what's up good people how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel if it's your first time here thank you so much for coming if it's a second time or third time or you're always a member of this channel just know that i really do appreciate you so today i'm coming to you this early from i'm actually at the gym right now yes we are assembling here because we are going for a hike which is going to happen just in a few Tunaenda. Ah, so start back off here. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so I forgot about my coffee in the house, but I wanted to go and get it. And then I also needed my glasses, which I didn't carry. So somehow we just have to go. So anyway, good people, we are going for hiking. Yes, like I've never done hiking before. I think I've done one. I went to Kerita Forest. I can't remember any other place, but I've never done a mountain before. So we are heading to Naivasha right now, and we are leaving as we speak. Yes. So. I'm going to bring you along. I hope I'm not going to get that tired. I don't like mountain climbing at all, but you have to go. So let's try this today. So good people. See, my meets my first friend. Hi, my name is Kara. <laughs> and more people. The more the merrier. Sour. Oh, and I'm the doctor for the day. Meet Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> so I am the nurse. Is it the doctor or a nurse? I'm the nurse for the day. And it's gonna be fun. And yeah, let's go. So imagine I carried all this bag. You think I'm going for a week, but it's only one day. The journey has officially begun. Wish me luck. I'm already tired. And we've just started. I'm not sure about this stopover, but I think we need to go. Everyone wants to take a selfie. Look at the mountain climbers, the tourists. So the hiking is about to start. Like, we're already in Naivasha and we're going to start like right now. Uh, the sun is already out, like it feels so bad that we're going to start it right now when the sun is already out. It's going to be hectic, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to try new things. So I'm ready and we're going. So the first thing you do when you come here and you're going for hiking, you get the sticks, it's important. Sylvia, what are your ex expectations? conquering this mountain do you think you'll make it to the top yes you're sure <laughs> yes you've done it before <laughs> yes and where we are going is up there guys like uko, 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 drew, like i don't even like i think my camera can't even capture but well yeah up there so i'm just hoping that i'll be able to you know to make it to the top and uh, the thing is i don't give up easily so i know i'll be able to make it to the top and yani in akatuku chosha i have the shoes for this kind of hike yep and let's just hope that we're going to make it so guys we're officially starting right here you'll see me here again very soon so you wanna go to war with me you're talking like you think you're royalty you think that i'm afraid but I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away Finally here At least we get to rest <laughs> Guys, this is not fun <laughs> It is not fun. It's not at all. Yeah. <laughs> How people do this for fun? Yeah. Nah, huh. no, 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 not me. <laughs> not me, not me, not me. Coming for the throne. Coming for the throne. 
How are you feeling? Hey! <laughs> we made it up here. We made it. Yeah. Hey. We did it. We did, did it, Irene. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> like we'll be going round the top. And yeah, so the journey is just starting. It only took us less than an hour to get up here. I don't know how much it will take us to go round the what is this cliff mountain top i don't know but yeah maybe another one and a half hour or maybe two hours i don't know but we'll be able to see in a few like on top of that mountain is where we are going and now we are here We made it here. I'm glad we left the resting point. That point at around 12:06, and we made it here a few minutes to one. So we've done like an hour. Oh my god! Like this is so humbling. I thought I was fit until I came here. I don't think I'm that fit, by the way. Like I have a lot of fat to burn, clearly. And yeah, there are so many people, and it's so encouraging the fact that there are actually even students who are doing this. And like, what was I doing when I was in primary? That's how that's it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, not easy but it's one of those things that i've always wanted to do at least to finish like yani nangali hapa chini niko like oh my god i can't even afford vlogging so my people we made it we made it like i think we took uh two hours like to go around and we took less than an hour to come up from the where the buses are i think we're doing good yeah not 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 that bad <laughs> yeah and i'm proud of ourselves yani as in we've come this far so the remaining part is uh i think easy <laughs> yeah we finally come to the end of this Maka we've been told goodbye you know I'm done. Like I'm seriously done with this. I'm happy that I conquered this. And um, it's not easy. For sure it's not easy. Like for real. And I'm not sure if I'll do it again, but it's a good thing. Like if, if you've never done this, I think it's something you need to try. So right now my legs are not my legs, they're really hurting me. Yeah. Guys, it feels really good coming back here. We are done! Can you imagine? We are the first ladies to make it back here. Like as in, to go up the mountain, go around, and come back here. Like, it feels so good. But my legs are burning. Can't wait to remove my shoes. Can't wait to remove my shoes! I'm so happy to be back! <laughs> So good people, I trust that you're well and I trust that if you're watching this, you've subscribed to my channel. So yeah, so yesterday I went for the hiking. Yeah, so it's a different day, definitely. I came back home and I think the last shot you saw about yesterday were the ones of me going to the sunset, going towards where we we're going to change, which was Fisherman's Camp. That's where we went to freshen up and then we were able to have dinner there, which was supposed to be our lunch, but because we could not make it like down there on time, we just had our dinner instead. So by 
by the time we're getting back to Nairobi, it was a bit late. It was, I think, around midnight. And yeah, it was fun because I think the freshening up and the eating and the guys were just relaxing. It was really amazing. And I even remember in the process of doing all this hiking, I kept on saying the fact that I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it again. But by the time I got to the finish line, I felt like it's something that is worth doing. Like it's worth, you should challenge yourself to such stuff. And I think I will do something like that again, like go for hiking again, not just Mount Longonot, but try somewhere else that I've never been to before. Like I think I was speaking to someone about Mount Kenya and I think Mount Kenya is a thorough one. Like you need to, you need to really prepare for it well. And yeah, maybe one day I'll do Mount Kenya, <laughs> but for now I can do these small, small hills around here, around Nairobi or, you know, just neighboring towns around Nairobi. So anyway, good people. There are a few things that I learned yesterday that I want to share with you. But before that, I want to talk about this particular top that I have right here. And I think I have a video that I'm going to insert just now when I receive this particular top. So great people, I have something here for you like this. Uh, not really for you, but it's for me. Yes, but I think it's for you. You guys, for those who love t-shirts, for the lovers of t-shirts if you want to rock them on a monday on a tuesday these days i feel you can actually wear t-shirts to the office depending on how you're rocking it by the way so for me i'm a lover of t-shirts so yeah like i find them easy to wear and you can just tell them any way you want you know like so this week i received something from a friend of mine they've been having this online store for a while and you're able to get women's stuff if you're looking for nice tees if you're going for elegance, if you're going for good quality, if you're going for something that make you look young, something that make you feel good, something that you can wear either casually or officially, if you're going to the office, this is the place for you. I received this from them. The online shop is called Batella Caris and uh, if you want to order, you can do it through. I'll share with you guys a couple of details. Like I even leave their contact numbers and even the link to the Instagram page on my description box where you guys will be able to just go and order directly. So. For now, let's just unwrap this. I've never done this before here, but I'm going to do it together with you guys and see what's inside my package. But this is how it came. I think you can see maybe, yeah, maybe closer to the camera. Yeah, I think you guys can see. So I've not seen what's here yet, but uh, when I spoke to her, oh, this is so cute. Let me see what's written here. It's Batella Caris. That's the name of the store. Thank you, Christine, for your purchase. Oh my God, this is amazing. May you express your elegance, wellness, and beauty ever so confidently and in this piece. Yeah, so, I mean, it's all about beauty, confidence, nini, nini, all those nice stuff, you know, guys. So, I want to just see what's inside here. And, oh my God, it looks so nice. Like, the way it has been wrapped. Oh God, let me bring you closer so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, hmm, there yup 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 that's how it looks like so ooh, it's a black one nice so this is how it looks like yup 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 this is how it looks like in case you're wondering it has some art stuff over here and this is the brand new ones i think it was launched last month so guys you don't want to miss out on this like uh this is what I'm going to wear in just a few minutes. Yes, so yeah, this one right here. And uh, they also have some earrings if you're looking for earrings. They have some nice stuff. Just check out this page, guys. You'll be able to see a lot. So this is how the top looks like. It has some designs over here. Yeah, it's a t-shirt and uh, you can fold it nicely. And it's going for... It's going for... 1700 they also have some earrings which i think are going for either 500 and above when i say 1700 is 1700 kenya shillings which is about let's say uh 17 dollars or something there about or maybe 18 dollars you know so that's what this is going for and the branding is super super nice i think it's very very it's done well it's neat it's clean and it's something that i think is also of good quality so guys feel free to support these guys like i leave their link to their instagram page on my, on my description box you'll be able to just click and order for something that you like yep so anyway let's get back to some of the things you need to know when you're going for hiking first of all you need to prepare for it like right now i woke up 
today and i feel like i'm not tired by the way you see the way you usually go for hiking back in the days when i wasn't working out i could wake up with some pain and all that but today i woke up just fine i guess because i've been working out continuously for the last maybe i did nine weeks so far this year like consistently after i resumed my workouts last week was the ninth week and now i'm going to start the ninth week the tenth week as from tomorrow yes so just make sure that before you go for a hike you keep your body active like it can be either jogging around your estate doing something that will make you you know by the time you go for that hiking you want to be like uh just waking up and going just like that because i'm sure for those who did that i'm sure right now they're in pain and also something else that i will also tell you about hiking is that find a partner when you're going for hiking have someone who's motivated to finish like someone who you will encourage each other as you go step by step because i remember yesterday i was doing it with um, with carol and she was able to really really encourage me to keep pushing so there are points whereby i was feeling like giving up i could encourage she was encouraging me and then there are points where i could see her struggle and i was doing the vice versa so you just need to have a partner or rather yeah a hike partner that you're able to push yourselves and just tell yourself that you can do it and wah when you're going to the camel hill i don't know if it's the camel tip or camel wherever that is but <laughs> the camel shape the tallest one that one when you're going up there and you're climbing up i think it got to a point where i was just doing one step telling myself you know what christine you can't give up so we've come this far we have to finish and we kept on doing it over and over and over and over there are places where we could chat a little bit there are places where we are like completely quiet and it was just amazing like just doing that so have a partner that at least is very very active and is also very motivated like you something else that i learned is that you can't carry disposable water bottles like this one right here I don't know if you're seeing well but yeah this one is a disposable water bottle those guys don't allow you to go with it up so you need a water bottle that is not disposable something that you can live with at the end of the camp of the hiking and then also you need to have your sticks hiring one stick is going for 50 bob so please if you're going up there make sure you get a stick because when you'll be coming down you'll really need it and even when you're going up you'll need it to just position yourself well and also it helps you to balance because at no point did i fall down or maybe you know had had something like it was so steep the places that were so steep so when you're going back down it was a problem and also make sure you have the right shoes oh my god like if you don't have the right shoes i think you're going to suffer especially when you're coming down the hill like i remember yesterday it was just hectic but thank god i got those boots i got them from Bata in kisumu the time we traveled with a friend of mine angie you know that friend of mine that i was saying that whenever we traveled like when we went together we were just buying stuff so we ended up getting those boots and at least they helped me yesterday the hiking boots that i had yesterday and you can also check in Bata. they do have like i think they're going for imagine less than 2000 kenya shillings so if you're looking for at least comfortable boots that you can actually go and hike with i know they they usually go for five thousand six thousand you know but these ones i saw end up going for two thousand less than two thousand bob i'm not but i'm not really sure how much i bought them in kisumu but i saw in some butter they were going for less than two thousand kenya shillings and um, yeah so try and get some just comfortable shoes to go up in like to go up the hill the mountain on yeah and then something else have your glucose have enough water going up oh my god like i remember when you're coming down there were kids who were really struggling like there was a kid who was like do you guys have water do you guys have glucose until it got to a point whereby we just had to we gave everything that we had because we knew when you're finishing when you're going towards now down the mountain we were just like i think we have enough strength to go down these people they really needed it so i had to give out my flavored water my glucose like in the process and then there are also people who i feel that they, they were first dehydrated and then they didn't eat enough before going up the mountain so those are things that you, you should not underestimate you need to have the energy to climb that hill it's not easy like when you're going up for hiking and you've not even eaten anything to hold your tummy so yeah so i don't know if there's anything that i've forgotten but just go there with the mindset of finishing and then you'll be able to finish strong don't be those kind of people who start something and not finish because at the end of it all you'll be so proud of yourself like just seeing yourself finishing all that and yeah so guys <laughs> i think we've come to the end of this video because i feel like i'll be talking talking and talking and it's already long and i need to go and visit a friend of mine i'm going to see marel right now and yeah so 
hiking is something that I will definitely recommend you to do. Like try, try, try and try. And if you're in Kenya, you've never done Mount Longonot, please start with that. Or maybe, yeah, I've done Kereta Forest, but that was just, we were going to see the waterfall. So it wasn't as hilly as the one we did yesterday, Mount Longonot. And yeah, so it's something I think I'll definitely do again. And definitely it's because of the adrenaline and the fact that I was working out before. It really did help because... Nico took away that like I feel no pain right now. So I'm like tomorrow I'll be going to back to the gym and doing my full body when I'm fresh, you know. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like it, please thumbs up. If you've gotten here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please do so by pressing on this amazing lady popping right here. And until next time, good people, kisses to you.